Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to move files from a document library into another document library by using a workflow. First, I have this documents library, and I'm going to just gonna create another one. A documents library, just like the first one, I add an app, and I'm just going to add an, a um, document library app, and I'm going to call that archive. And what I want to happen now is that I want these documents to be moved into the archive when the status of these documents changes into expired. So first I'm just going to add a column to this library. I'm going to call that document status. And that's going to be a choice field. And the possible values will be new ongoing and expired and the default value is going to be new that's fine now to create the workflow that runs whenever a change is made I'm going to go into SharePoint Designer and I refresh this I see the libraries and lists here and now I see the documents and here's the archive too I'm going to go into the documents and add a new list workflow based on that specific list. In this case, I'm going to do a 2013 workflow. I'm going to move expired, that's what I'm going to call it. And when creating a new workflow, there are two things that you need to consider carefully. One is how should that be started? And of course, in this case, you need to start them automatically so that whenever an item is changed, a document is changed in this case, the, it will check whether the document is expired or not. So I'm going to go in here to the summary page of this workflow and click on the start options down here. And I'm going to start the, the workflow automatically when an item is created or when an item is changed. And then I'm going to go back and edit the workflow and in a SharePoint 2013 workflow I'm going to finish the workflow by going to a stage. I'm just going to type here go, insert go to a stage, and then I'll go to the finish and the workflow. All right? Then I'm going to check and using a condition if the um, document is indeed expired. So I'm going to if any value equals value. As you see, I can click these blue selectors here and just select from the current item if the document status is indeed expired. And in that case, I'm going to go ahead and move the document. And actually there is not a move action here, but there is a copy document. So I can copy the current item to the archive, and then I can go ahead and delete the document. Delete item and it's the current item. Now I'm just going to publish this and then I'm going to go into the SharePoint site and I'm just going to change this and I'll just jump into quick edit and change the status here to expired on this changes document. Move back into the non-quick edit mode, regular view i refresh this and see what's happening. And as you see now, the changes document is indeed moved into the archive. I'm going to try that again. And just go ahead and change the properties of this document. And then I'm going to change that to expired. And if I refresh this now, you'll see that the workflow is working. And in a few seconds, it will move the document into the archive. Now it's at stage one. So there you see the document has been moved into the archive. So that concludes this demonstration on how to move a document using a workflow. Thank you for watching.